Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is an interesting thing. I've never seen one before. It is the hose uh, inlet fill, cold only, or cold anyways, for a washing machine. It's got this one-way ratcheting mechanism to screw it onto the tap end, or the faucet end, or the inlet end, and this is the washing machine end here. It looks like an Aquastop hose, the kind that Mila, or you know, Bosch was the one I saw in a previous video, a Bosch Aquastop. It's got a hose inside a hose, so it's got like the waste, washing machine waste hose on the outside, although it's not completely similar. And then up at this end, it's got this thing. So it's got a one-way ratchet here, so you can tighten it but not unscrew it until you press the yellow button. Then, it says VDE, reg number 400-101-88. It's got a little indicator window on both sides. Let's get in here. Phillips screw on both sides. What I presume this is, is some kind of a leak hose, leak proof hose, so that if water leaks from the one hose into the other hose, or leaks from, from the inner hose into the outer hose, then something happens and it turns off a valve. There's no electricity or anything here, so... Okay, that slides down. This red thing has a sp oh, yikes, okay. spring loaded and a magnet. I presume it's a magnet. Yeah, it's a pretty good. That's a neat little magnet there. Okay, spring loaded with a magnet and some kind of a. This looks like a sponge in there, and I think, I imagine, if that gets wet, it expands and pushes this down. So that may, maybe means it's a single use item. Let's put that in there. If it comes down, I think what'll happen is. It'll cover that window in red and show that it's a dud, but what does it actually do? Okay, if it comes down, then the magnet moves down. Okay, so if it gets wet in there, in here, in the chamber, sponge fills up, pushes against this thing, this is just me guessing now, breaks the magnet, which I presume is up in here. Now, how could we get that off? That would be... I don't really care what goes on with this, although I presume this is an expensive hose. Oh, there's the magnet again. Yeah, you can see that's just a regular hose in there. Plastic top that's crimped on, o-ring seal here. So there's rubber seal on the bottom, o-ring seal on the top. In theory, the screws could leak. Although I suspect this isn't there to stop a major failure, a major leak, it's just there to stop a small leak. This is snapped on somehow. Let's see if I can get that gauze out of there. Little filter gauze without damaging it. Yeah, it's got a bit of a rubber seal on the bottom there as well. Not a seal, a rubber hook on the bottom there. Okay, that's out. That appeared to move. Let's get a similar magnet. Okay, I don't know. It's a similar, just another magnet. Look at that. You throw it on the bench. It's inclined to stay here because there's metal screws underneath. The magnet's so strong, look. And it bounces around. There you go. Magnets, eh? Um, how would I get in here without wrecking it? I don't really want to break it. Although this is the kind of thing that just typically ends up going into the scrap bin after I've faffed around with it for long enough. It looks like the blue is forced down onto the white. Yeah, I can't see that coming apart without smashing it. So I'm just going to put it back together again, but I think that's what's happening there. This magnet... Ooh, look. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that in there. I can only barely see the shadows. I'm not sure if I could get that inner plastic out. That's cool. No, I think I'm going to do damage. So somewhere underneath this piece here, 
is something and just listen to it. A little bit more light. There's something moving in there anyways, so it, the magnet's pushing it up, keeping it open. And then there's a spring, so I'll put it back together again. Just never seen one, thought it'd be interesting to see what's in there. It's some kind of a thing that's like an aqua stop, but I don't know what it's called. Uh, I'll, I'll search for that number and see, see if I can find out what it's called. You can hear it snapping into place there. This thing slides up and this... It's got a little groove that it slides in so that it's in correctly. And you have to get that you have to get it up against that o-ring for the screw holes to line up they seem to be stainless steel screws i'll put in that seal again and then i'll get onto google and see what it says sure this doesn't want to go back in now there's a little trick there i'll tell you about now once i've got this in without cutting up my hand. Magnet stuck on a screwdriver or anything makes it magnetic so it can pick up screws and whatnot. Strong magnet anyways. It's quite a strong magnet that. Okay that's all back together. I'll have a look at this. It was on an AEG Electrolux machine. Not sure if that helps. So I can't see a name for it other than it does seem to be an AEG thing and that's a uh, kind of a quality number or a it's not a patent number but it's like a test that it's passed i guess that's that's what i think it is anyways aqua stop anti-flood water stop something like that some name like that there it is anyways questions or comments leave them below if you see it leaking or if the thing's red tough uh, i don't see that i guess you could fix it if you take it apart no you can't because if it's got a leak it's got a leak so at that point, it doesn't matter because this point part in here is wet from a leak inside the hose. Then you've got to throw it out if that's red. Yeah, it doesn't. I guess maybe it comes with instructions if you buy the thing for money. They're not very dear. They look like 20, 30 quid online. Cool. Questions or comments, leave them below. I'll post a link to these. I think you can get them on Amazon in the description. Thanks for watching. See you later.